You don't stand a ghost of a chance, Yugi. We are back with the second half of a video, effectively. So this is the other sort of thing I picked up. This is the Ghost in the Past set, which is a lot more sort of classic Yu-Gi-Oh! So you've got Darkon Dragon this side. You've got uh, Dark Magician Girl the other side. And this is four five-card packs. So there's only five cards in each pack, but I think they might all be Ghost Rares. I don't remember, uh, but we will have a look. And see. Yeah, all foil booster. So they're all foils. Maybe with some ghost rares, I would assume. And they have these little fucking things on either side, which are really hard to open. And I really don't want to damage the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gently do this. I'm going to learn from last time and just open it this way. And then peel it. There we go. Cool. So you have four booster packs, which look, honestly, I think, cooler than the other booster packs. So you've got Cyber and Cyber Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend, Blue Eyes, and our girl, the cutie, Patootie. Right, let's get started. As soon as I can open this fucking packaging, I guess. I have already said that I don't particularly like this packaging all that much. They are overpackaged and kind of... I mean, I got them, I think, somewhat cheaper than what they would normally be, but, um, kind of overpriced for four packs, but it's fine. I guess they'd be like a four pound booster pack in USC4, yeah. Yeah, they are slightly overpriced, I guess. We have Infernity Sage, which is a Kalin thing, Tenyi Spirit Vishuda. Don't know about Tenny Spirits. Vampire Sucker. We like the, we like the pun here. Uh, that's a cutie. And it's a lit monster for vampires. Rarefish! Ooh, it's a fucking rarefish! Amazing. And the Sacred Waters in the Sky, which is a Sanctuary of the Sky card. Not bad. Um, and that was the Blue Eyes pack, so there's no Blue Eyes in this. No, I'm kidding. I don't know if Blue Eyes will specifically be in the Blue Eyes... Pack. Uh, we have Infernity Pawn, P A W N, by the way. Uh, Ancient Entropy Uranus. Who's Uranus? Uh, Yorming Gunder, uh, Gene Raider Boss of Eternity. Oh, cool. It's a big level 90 boy. It's that guy from Smite. Uh, Plunder Patrol Ship, L Y S. And a Shell Knight, which is a rocky, weird boy. Uh, we'll open the Red Dragon Archfiend themed pack. Well, I think themed. It's not going to be themed. Uh, we have Tenyi Spirit Adhara. Don't know about Tenyi's. Flint Cracker. Uh, this is a Fossil Fusion-y boy. I might have seen that uh, when I was doing the... Actually, you might not have seen that. Uh, we have Tatsunekro, which is a weird, like, zombie version of a normal weird monster meal back in the day. She might be a reference to Bonds, maybe. Uh, zombie World? We like a foil Zombie World. I'll take that. I'll take a pretty Zombie World. And Ryza the Mega Monarch, who is a very large burb. That's cool. Um, this is very sort of nostalgic, but... No, like, really, really iconic stuff. And no Ghost Rares, which is a sh fucking problem. Uh, we have Bluebeard Pl Plunder Patrol... Shipwright, he's a gobbo? Shadow Vampire. It's another classic. Another zombie world, okay. I guess this game realizes I like my zombies. Quintet Magician. I mean, that is a, like, a pretty big sort of dark magician boy. That's effectively, like, five-headed dragon, but for spellcasters. And it still looks like dark Dank magician. The Agent of Life, Neptune. And that's it. Yeah, no ghost rose. Wow, that's a fucking... Uh, I picked the wrong box here. <laughs> Oh, well, but, I mean, Quintet Magician is... If I recall, Quintet's, like, really fucking strong. Um, it's real cards your opponent controls. Yeah, so you get... If you use Fighter at Spellcasters, you just blow up everything your opponent controls. This Facebook card field can be attributed. No one uses material. Also, cover destroyed by card effects. The first part, you'd think, is a detriment. Uh, this means it can't be Kaiju'd. So you can't just Kaiju this. You have to t use non-destroying... Um, material. Uh, so you could back to square one this, you could compulse this, but you can't destroy it and you can't kaiju it, which is relevant. 
This is hard enough. This actually should be hard to get rid of. So that's cool. And yeah, so uh, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, you guys are beautiful sausages. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you think the best pull of this episode is. Or maybe you know what the values and stuff are. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye for now. Uh.